War is a collective trauma, a psychic wound as real as any physical. Though a country may grow out of the ashes once more, it will be forever scarred by the experience that forged it. Those wars may truly last long after the last shots have been fired, both in the effects and the continued fractured diplomatic relationship between the two countries. A military war might become an economic war and leave the loser of the former isolated and unable to rebuild, but through its own sweat and blood. This is the curious case of the Democratic People's Republic of Sasha Town, a land of contradictions. We present a Ministry of Culture Production in collaboration with the Ministry of State Security, Academy of Science and Technology and Sasha Town Central News Agency. Sasha Town is a nation plagued by great but well-reasoned anxieties. Outside the safety of its strictly enforced borders lay its destruction at the hand of NATO forces. It is a country under siege, always forced to exist in the shadow of its stronger imperialist counterpart. With this threat comes the need for a strong man leader. Historically, someone charismatic, courageous and bold has always emerged to lead the hollow men from the banks of the Tumid River. This archetype has been filled by one who the people see as their dear leader, General Secretary Sasha Baer. Though many will never see the General Secretary up close or even participate in the party directly, their hearts swell with love for him. He is their beacon of ideo-theoretical wisdom and protector against those who would violate Chapter 3, Section 1 of the Criminal Law of the DPRS, Crimes Against the State. With his escort of Ministry of State Security and People's Army officials, respected comrade Sasha Baer is involved with the smallest detail of the country's operation. He licks most things and offers advice, samples most food, combats reactionary thought, and even patrols the borders of the country himself to ensure the safety of his people. He is the nation's father as much as he is its leader. Yet Marshal Sasha is a divisive figure globally. Other dogs react with fear, as do many people, calling him a dictator and tanky. Ideologically, his country has been called extreme and a stark example of the failures of communism, a reflection of its present state of crippling famine and mass arrests. But that is not the intention of this documentary. Rather, here we hope to present a more nuanced and agnostic view of Sasha Town. With the editorial guidance of the Ministry of State Security, we hope to show how Marshal Sasha actually only does good boy things, how everything in DPR Sasha Town is actually great, and how every accusation is just a confession on behalf of NATO forces. That is to say, we hope to not just uncover the fact, but to deliver you only the patriotic facts and to speak truth from power for the first time in history. Over the next 600 chapters, we will cover all manner of Sasha Townian issues and affairs from the perspectives of those who live and create them. We will undertake the world's first honest journalistic investigation of Sasha Town while advancing the standards of Ju Chi cinematography to show you the true beauty and nature of this mysterious so called hermit kingdom. We will show you the voluntary love and support of his people, his greatest accomplishments and studies from the Academy of Science and Technology, certifying that he is the ideal shape and a perfect baby from heaven. We will debunk imperialist liberal propaganda against, highlight the socialist achievements, and most importantly, show the true official reality of the world's most misunderstood country. Join me on the Sasha Town Central News Agency every Monday morning at 2.40 a.m as we explore the patriotic facts about the Democratic People's Republic of Sasha Town. This mandatory documentary series will air every Monday through 2035. A short quiz will be mailed to all citizens with civil and criminal penalties for failing.